Welcome to section 2, repeating and non-repeating decimals. I'm going to show you how to classify decimals as repeating or non-repeating. Also, if they are repeating, whether or not they are terminating. In our first example here, we've got a decimal point with a bar notation uh, above the 7. And all that means is that uh, the 7 goes on forever indefinitely to the right of the decimal and we can uh, get rid of these seven simply by putting a bar above here and that means it repeats the seven uh, forever to the right of the decimal. In our next example here, uh, if you recall from the first video, these three dots just means that the decimal number goes to the right uh, indefinitely and we don't see any blocks of numbers repeating themselves, therefore it is a non-repeating decimal. And the same here. There are no blocks of numbers repeating themselves, and it goes on uh, indefinitely to the right of the decimal place, and therefore it's a non-repeating decimal. Now this next one is uh, a little bit tricky in that it is a repeating decimal, even though it has been terminated right here because zeros uh, have a special property in that we can write them or uh, put zeros here to the right of the decimal uh, forever and ever and that makes it a repeating decimal but with zeros or a string of zeros we can also terminate them uh, at any point we choose to therefore it is a terminating repeating decimal in our next example of uh, 1.8181, again we have a bar notation above the 81, therefore it is a repeating decimal, and it is also non-terminating. Now we can also put the uh, bar notation above this 81 right here, and get rid of these numbers, and it means the exact same thing. In our next example, it's repeating because we can add zeros however far we want, but it's also terminating because of the special property of the string of zeros, and we can cut it off right here, or we could cut it off here, or here, wherever we choose to. In our next example, 3.1459, we have a non-repeating string of digits uh, to the right of the decimal, and we can't see any that repeat themselves, and for those that recognize this, this is a rep representation of pi, a numerical representation of pi. In our next example, uh, repeating again because of the zeros and terminating. We could terminate it here, which, or here, or we could terminate it right there. Our next example, 45,652,133. It is repeating again because we can put zeros indefinitely to the right of the decimal place. And it's also terminating because it was terminated right here. And in our last example, 0.166666, which goes on indefinitely, it's repeating the number 6, and it's also non-terminating. Uh, as indicated by the three dots here. And this pretty much summarizes the uh, classification of decimals. Uh, thanks for watching.